Hello beautiful people and welcome back to my channel. My name is Anna and I do all things plus size fashion, beauty, and mom lifestyle. If any of that interests you, be sure to subscribe and hit that notification bell. Okay, so for today's video, we are going to be talking all about my hair and the products that I use and I'm going to be showing you how I get this loose wave kind of look, which is the hair look that I use in almost all of my videos. So my full-time job is being a hairdresser, so my hair has come a long way in the past three years. So I have found some stuff that is awesome, it's not too expensive, and it really, really works for me. So I hope that I can help you guys in any way that I can or just hang out with me to see how I do my hair and all of that stuff. So yeah, let's get started. Okay, so first I wanted to talk about the products that I use in the shower to wash my hair. So typically I only wash my hair maybe one to two times a week. Um, I really do not wash it a lot. So I'm going to be talking about the purple shampoo that I use. I use the Matrix Total Results So Silver. So it looks like this. I have tried so many purple shampoos and I honestly swear by this one. So I love this stuff. It's amazing. Um, I put this on like probably once a week. So like every other time I wash my hair, I use this. It's definitely as needed. So don't go overboard or else your hair might turn purple or get that like too silvery look. And I definitely like the more like natural blonde i don't really love the white blonde anymore for me personally because i feel like with my eyebrows and everything it was just like too much because i like darker eyebrows so um yeah this is awesome i swear by this and this is not even that expensive especially because this big um this is one liter so this big thing lasts you so long like i bought this two months ago and literally like it feels like I haven't used any of this so this is awesome so I use the bedhead by TG and I have been using this ever since cosmetology school this is the brand that we used in cosmetology school and I loved it so um they have like three different colors of this particular one they have um green blue and red so I always switch between them this one is for resurrection so they all are like recovery resurrection um I can't remember the last one, but it's all basically so similar like for your hair type. So it depends on what you're looking for and it describes on here what it does. So really, I just pick it based on the smell. They smell amazing. This is what I use in the salon and clients are always like, what is that smell? So this smells so good and these are not super cheap, not like drugstore shampoo and conditioner but they are pretty affordable for high-end shampoos and conditioners and they're definitely easy to grab they do sell them at target and giant eagle and stuff like that you just have to check the expiration date on those ones to make sure that they're not expired but you can get this on amazon anything like that and this is awesome i love this stuff i've noticed such a change in my hair after using this Okay, so for reference, I just washed my hair last night and I do not brush my hair after the shower or anything like that. I do have a wet brush, so if I have to, that is what I use. They are amazing. If you have not tried a wet brush yet, then you have to. They are so good. You like will not feel like your hair is pulling at all if you get naughty hair. But yeah, I don't even brush my hair out of the shower. I just put in this It's a 10 and I use the Miracle Leave-In Plus Keratin. And this stuff is so, so good. I've been using this for a really long time now. And it's just kind of like a leave-in conditioner. Um, it helps your hair, makes it soft. It gives it that keratin, especially if you're blonde that you're lacking. So yeah, I love this stuff. And I have not brushed my hair yet. So literally I showered and this is what it comes out to. This product is amazing. This is a little bit pricey, but I mean, this, this lasts you forever too, especially if you only wash your hair like one or two times a week. I literally buy this twice a year. So that's another thing about um, not washing your hair a lot is you can splurge on the more expensive products because you're not using them all the time. So it's like for my shampoo and conditioner, I probably buy that three to four times a year. And for my purple shampoo, I probably buy that twice a year, maybe, um, just because I'm not washing my hair all the time. So now on to how I style it. 
So the product that I use to put in my hair before I style it, um, I'm not going to be using dry shampoo or hairspray or any of that today. Sometimes I do throw in hairspray if um, I know it's going to be a super, super long day. And also dry shampoo, usually like on the second or third day that I don't wash my hair, I just throw that in my roots, but I don't need to today. So I use the Chi Iron Guard for thermal protection. And honestly, I think that they sell this, um, I've seen this at like drugstores too. It's just with buying stuff at drugstores, you just really, like I said before, just have to check the expiration date to make sure it's not expired. <laughs> um, because that just means that it's not going to work and you're just spending your money for nothing. <laughs> but I'm pretty sure Amazon probably has all of this. I will link everything down below for you guys that, um, I'm sure I can find all this stuff online. So I will link everything down below for you guys. Okay, so I'm just gonna take a paddle brush and brush all through my hair. And I do almost always wear my hair in a middle part. Like I try to switch it up sometimes, but I always just prefer it in a middle part. I don't, I don't know why, it's just me. And I almost always prefer it curly as well. Um, I have worn it straight maybe two times this entire year. So definitely, don't love it straight, but I'm trying to switch things up. So um, I'm just gonna brush it and take my heat protectant spray. And now I'm just working it through my hair. And I don't have a mirror, so if my middle part isn't exactly right, that's why. But that's okay. It's always, like, a little bit off. Okay, so now we're ready for the fun part to show you guys how I wave my hair. And this is so easy. It takes me literally, like, four minutes. So, yeah, this is so much quicker to me than straightening my hair or anything like that. Okay, so the curling iron that I use is this one, and I got this one back in cosmetology school. So this has lasted me a long time. Um, you do not need to have one like this. This one is a little bit hard to use because it doesn't have a spring. So I think these are called Marcel irons, if you're curious. So for the type of waves that I get, I do suggest using like an actual curling iron rather than, there's like smoke coming off of it, but using an actual curling iron rather than a wand just to get this particular type of curl. I know that wands can give you that really nice curl, especially if you have really long hair, it gives you that really, really nice wave. But just for my length hair, um, I prefer to just use a basic curling iron with a clamp. So I really don't even section my hair to get this really loose wave. And I just start with the front piece. And I just grab a chunk like this, so pretty thick. And I start this up at the top. And I clamp it down and kind of slowly move it down and pulse it down and keep turning. So pulse it down and keep turning. And then once I get this little bit out, I'm just going to pulse the curling iron down my hair like this. And I like to leave that little bit out of the curling iron. And if I curl it a little bit too much, I just go over it really quick. And you can d use a straightener to do that or anything like that because I do really like those straight ends. So pretty quickly after I run my fingers through it because um, I don't want it to stay too curly. I want it to be really loose. So I usually run my fingers through it immediately to kind of give it that really loose kind of curl look. Whereas um, a lot of people, you know, say to wait until it um, cools down, which I do recommend. But for just get, having that really, really loose curl, I just run my fingers through it right away. So then I just work my way back. I'm gonna take another thick section and do the same technique. Start and then just keep pulsing it down until there's that little bit left. And I'm just gonna drag it down. And sometimes I do this to drag it down to kind of give it this like straighter look and just brush my fingers through it. 
so it is so easy so fast and then I always have to make sure that I get some under here so I really don't curl every single piece of my hair at all um I leave some of the unders like straight and all of that and I do like to get some up here at the root so I'll take smaller sections to make sure that I'm oops sorry really close up in the root to get that like volume I'm just going to keep doing that same technique randomly picking up pieces and curling them and just floofing them all together and I really am really messy I just like run my fingers through it run my hands through it brush it whatever you need to do and I just do the same thing to the other side and for every single curl I push it away from my face so every single curl I take I do away from my face. I don't do any towards my face for this particular type of look. Yeah, I'm so messy with it. I really just like, okay, so I'm just going to do the rest of my hair really quick. I just, like, if you want to be more precise with this, just do it in sections. If it's easier for you, for me, it's just easy to grab random pieces of hair and go at it. And they kind of end up all flowing together anyway. But I'm just going to finish this and I'll be right back. Okay, so my hair is almost done. Um, after I get to this point when it is just this really, like, soft, nice loose kind of curl look I just go over and see if there's any pieces that I want to recurl to give a little bit more like volume or anything like that I just go through and do those really quick And I just go in and shake it all out. Okay, you guys, so that is how I get this hair look and all about the products that I use and everything like that. I hope that I did not ramble on too much, but um, yeah, thank you guys so, so much for watching. And anyone can do this hairstyle. It is so, so easy. All you need is like a one inch um spring curling iron from walmart or target you don't have to spend big money or anything before i had this curling iron i was just using one of those getting the same type of look so yeah just make sure that it is the same length the entire way up and it's not like thinner at one end than the other and you will be set so yeah again thank you so much for watching and i'll see you guys in the next one